Every year, 800 million liters of apple juice are produced on an industrial scale, transforming the humble apple into a refreshing drink enjoyed by millions around the world. But have you ever wondered how apple juice is produced in factories? The journey from orchard to bottle is an incredibly sophisticated process that combines traditional agricultural techniques with cutting edge modern technology. From harvesting the apples to bottling the juice, every step is carefully designed to ensure quality, taste, and safety. Production begins in early autumn, typically in September and October, when the apples are at their peak ripeness and flavor. More than 100,000 tons of apples are harvested from local farms each year for juice production, while many table apples are still picked by hand, large-scale juice production benefits from the efficiency of mechanical harvesting. One impressive method involves tree shakers equipped with hydraulic arms that clamp down on tree trunks and vibrate, causing about 60K of apples to fall from each tree. These machines can harvest up to 100 tons of apples in a single day, significantly speeding up the harvest time. After harvest, apples are transported from the farms to the juice processing plant as quickly as possible within 24 hours to ensure freshness. During peak harvest season, four massive trucks, each carrying tons of apples, arrive at the plant every hour. Upon arrival, the apples are unloaded onto conveyor belts and begin their journey through a series of meticulously planned steps. The first step involves initial inspection and cleaning. 90 ton stream of recycled water is used to funnel the apples into four water channels, washing away leaves and debris. Damaged or spoiled apples are discarded at this stage, as only the highest quality apples are used to produce juice. The selected apples are then graded based on size, color, ripeness, and overall quality. Apples that do not meet the required standards are diverted for composting or other non-food uses. This is followed by an automated washing process using brushes and rollers to remove any remaining dirt or dust, followed by disinfection to eliminate harmful bacteria or fungi. After rinsing with clean water to remove any disinfectant residue, the apples are drained and dried to avoid diluting the juice during extraction. Peeled apples, since apple skins contain insoluble solids that can add bitterness, are cut into small pieces using a high-speed blender equipped with 28 zigzag blades rotating at 1,500 RPM. This process creates a soft apple paste that is then treated with pectinase, a natural enzyme that breaks down the apple's cell structure and helps release more juice when pressed.
The puree is pumped through 120 meter pipes into giant 650 ton fermentation tanks where it sits for 60 to 90 minutes. From there, nine tons of puree is transferred to powerful hydraulic presses equipped with 288 filters. These filters retain the skins, seeds, and stems while still allowing the juice to flow through. The pressure exerted in these presses extracts the maximum amount of juice possible, resulting in a cloudy liquid that is rich in flavor, but still contains small solid particles. The solids left over from this pressing stage are not wasted. Meanwhile, the raw apple juice flows into tanks where it undergoes further filtration to remove finer particles, enhancing clarity and flavor. Technicians can adjust the juice by adding acid to preserve color and flavor or adding preservatives to extend shelf life. After filtration, the juice is cooled and temporarily stored in cold tanks to inhibit bacterial growth. The juice is then pasteurized in which the juice is gradually heated in a heat exchanger at temperatures ranging from 75 to 90 degrees Celsius for a specific period of time. The juice is then quickly cooled to prevent any contamination and preserve the fresh flavor. When it comes time to package the juice, high-performance filling machines dispense precise amounts into each small package. Some machines can fill up to 100 small containers or 120 larger bottles per minute. glue is used to attach the straws and the bottles are sealed tightly to preserve freshness. Automatic labeling machines apply the final labels before the finished products are boxed and shipped to retailers nationwide. Thanks to this highly controlled and efficient production process, apple juice can be enjoyed all year round with the same delicious taste and high quality as when freshly pressed. It is a fascinating combination of natural harvesting and modern technology that ensures every sip is as fresh as the first. If you found this behind the scenes look at apple juice production interesting, please like this video and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss more amazing insights into how your favorite foods and drinks are made. Thanks for watching! Welcome to our farming documentary, where we explore the fascinating world of coconut harvesting and processing. Today we will journey together to a land renowned for its lush coconut groves and the remarkable products made from this versatile tree. Coconuts play a vital role in the local economy and daily life, and the process of transforming coconuts into various useful products is both captivating and impressive.
Our story begins in the lush coconut groves, where the harvesting process is still performed manually following traditional methods. When the coconut husks slowly turn light yellow or brown, it serves as a clear signal that the coconuts are fully ripe and ready to be harvested. The skilled farmers use long poles with sickles or sharp blades attached carefully aiming at the stems to cut them, allowing the coconuts to fall gently to the ground. This method of harvesting not only protects the coconuts from any potential damage, but also guarantees their excellent quality for the next stages of processing. After the coconuts are harvested, they are transported to a pre-processing facility where the coconut core is separated from the fibrous husk. This is the first step in a series of processes that will transform the ordinary coconut into a variety of different products. The two main components, the coconut husk and the core, will follow two separate paths, with each path leading to unique products used in industries ranging from agriculture to textiles. First, let's follow the journey of the coconut husk. After being separated from the core, the husk is taken to a specialized factory where it is processed to produce two main materials, core fiber and coconut peat. Core fiber, also known as coconut fiber, is widely used in the textile industry to make ropes, mats, and even eco-friendly fabrics. Meanwhile, coconut peat is a valuable resource in agriculture, serving as a natural growing medium for plants due to its excellent water retention properties. At the factory, after the coconut husk is shredded, the core fibers undergo a careful drying process typically by natural sun drying or mechanical drying to completely remove moisture. The fibers are then loosened and prepared for the weaving process. Coir fibers can be twisted into strong ropes or woven into products such as bags, mats, and rugs. Thanks to its durability and strength, core becomes an ideal material for various applications, ranging from the textile industry to construction and agriculture. Meanwhile, coconut peat, which is the leftover dust after separating the core fibers, undergoes further processing The peat is treated by moistening, adding water, softening, and then repeatedly drying until it reaches the desired fininess. This repeated process ensures that the coconut peat is of high quality and meets the necessary standards for agricultural use. Once the coconut peat is ready, it is compressed into bricks or panels, which are then packaged and distributed to the market. These products are highly sought after in the greenhouse farming industry because of their excellent water and nutrient retention capabilities.
When watered, these compressed peat bricks expand, providing an excellent growing medium for plants in controlled environments. Now let's turn to the journey of the coconut core, which follows a different but equally fascinating path. Once separated from the husk, the core is brought to a factory where it undergoes several processes to extract coconut water, coconut meat, and eventually coconut cream and coconut oil. The first step involves removing the hard outer shell of the coconut. Once the shell is separated, the coconuts are cleaned and the soft inner core is prepared for further processing. At this stage, the coconut water is collected and the coconut meat is separated. This white, soft meat is highly valuable for producing coconut cream and coconut oil, two of the most popular products derived from coconuts. Coconut cream is produced by steaming the coconut meat at high temperatures, typically around 100 deg C. This process softens the meat, making it easier to crush and press. After pressing, the extracted liquid is concentrated and stabilized to create the rich, creamy texture that coconut cream is known for. The cream is then packaged, sterilized, and labeled, ready to be distributed to markets worldwide. Additionally, the residue left after extracting coconut oil can be processed into coconut flour. This flour serves as an excellent alternative to wheat flour especially for those who prefer gluten-free options in cooking and baking. Coconut flour is rich in fiber and nutrients, showcasing the remarkable versatility of coconuts in being fully utilized for a wide range of products. Thus, we have completed our journey exploring the harvesting and processing of coconuts. We hope that through this documentary, you have gained a deeper understanding of this special fruit and its amazing applications. Coconuts not only provide food and resources for people around the world, but also contribute to sustainable industries that prioritize eco-friendly and renewable products. Thank you for watching this farming documentary. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know which coconut products surprise you the most or if you've ever used any of these products. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating information about the world of farming and agriculture. See you in the next video.